This is my favorite story about my daughter. Last year, Ariel was being uh, driven to Children's Hospital emergency room because she had a uh, pain that uh, couldn't be con explained or controlled. It was late at night, it was raining, and it was cold. And standing at the end of the Telegraph Avenue off-ramp was this uh, young guy with one of the signs for, you know, for a handout. And he was cold and drenched to the bone. And Ariel begged her mom to stop despite a green light and roll down the window uh, so that she could give this kid some money. She had a, a $20 bill in her pocket, which was money from, I think, one of her grandparents. And it was money that uh, she was, you know, saving for, like, a new DS game or something. And uh, the man approached her. He could see that she was thin and, you know, pale and bald and in pain from her chemo treatments. Um, and as she pushed the $20 bill into his hands, um, she asked him to, quote, go inside where he could get warm or he might get sick. You know, and uh, Ariel was happy. But she still worried about the man for several days after. My daughter is kinder than I am. More trusting than I am. Wiser than I am. Funnier than I am. She is my hero and the reason I get up in the morning. And her fight with cancer may almost be over. She's been in the hospital now for three weeks. She's uh, been suffering painful headaches and scans showed that one of her tumors on her brain was bleeding and that there was a, a new tumor forming. Uh, she suffered a grand mal seizure while in the hospital as well as uh, several other smaller ones before she had uh, burr hole surgery to drain the blood out of uh, the, the major tumor that was bleeding. But afterwards her pain uh, continued and an additional scan showed that the bleed had gotten worse. She then had a, a double craniotomy to remove the bleeding tumor as well as the new one. But her head pain continued and uh, another scan showed that the bleeds were still there and seemed to be getting worse. It was at this point that our oncologist told us that there were no other treatment options that they could offer and that we should um, take Ariel home and be prepared for her passing. There is just one problem with that and that's Ariel wants to fight. Samples of her tumor have been sent to Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York City for an experimental treatment. If the agent that they are using um, uh, with the test shows a positive tumor response, in other words, it shows that it could be effective with Ari, she will qualify for the treatment and she'll have to travel to New York to receive it. This treatment is her last option. If the tests are negative, then Ariel will come home for good where we will try to fill her days with joy. Her treatment has had a heavy fiscal impact on uh, my family. After two and a half years total of fighting uh, this disease, we no longer have a, a good credit rating or savings. Uh, my wife currently cares for her full time, so we've lost an income. No matter what the outcome of the tests show, we are asking for fiscal help. Whether that's to pay for a trip to New York for Ariel and her mom for potentially life-extending ex um, treatment, or for a final good memory for Ariel, if possible, and for her memorial. I know I've asked before, and the generosity, love, and support was overwhelming and humbling. I ask you again for your support. Down below is a link to the Team Ariel website. There is a PayPal button there. Donate as little or as much as you wish. Last time, hundreds of people donated as little as $3 or as much as 500 or more and gave Ariel the gift of Hogwarts. 
a trip that she still talks about every day. I pray it can do the same for what she faces ahead. If you can't donate, we understand and appreciate your attention and emotional support. If you can, thank you. Your donation means more than you can ever know. And please feel free to mirror and share this video with people. Last February, when they found tumors on her brain and spine, she was given three months to live. That was six months ago. Ariel has always defied the odds. With luck and your help, we may be able to defy them further. Thanks.